welcome to a new open world lock fact. Hi, everyone. This time we're going to be talking about one of the most famous franchises of all time, Pokemon. More specifically, we'll be discussing how Pokemon are named in different languages. Exactly. Did you know that not every country knows these cute and incredible little creatures by the same name? So where do their names come from and what can they tell us about each creature? Well, there are a few exceptions though, such as Pikachu, which is the most iconic Pokemon as everyone knows, uh, whose name has never been transcreated, even though it might sound weird in some languages. I've been so lonely. Right. So let's get into it. Our first case is the legendary bird trio, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Their English names clearly show a combination of Spanish numbers. Well, to those of us who know Spanish numbers, uno, one, dos, two, and tres, three. But since the game is originally in Japanese, what are their original names? Well, their Japanese names are Freezer, as you can see in the screen, Thunder, and Fire. Quite straightforward names, right? And in German, this Powerful bird Pokemon are called Arctos, and in German, Arctis is Arctic, Sapdos, and Lavados. In German, as I said, Arctis means Arctic, and Lavados comes from lava, of course. Other than that, the names have remained quite similar to English and have been adapted to rhyme to Tos, Dos, Dos. Right. Lickitung is another Pokemon that has a peculiar name in German. It's Schlerp. And this is the German automatopoeia of a lick, which makes the creature's name a clear definition of what it actually does. Uh, another case of automatopoeia in Pokemon names is Golduck's French equivalent, a quack quack. This is a really adorable name since it's more or less how a child would pronounce a duck's quack. So cute. Oh, yeah, it is so cute. Um, but these names are really creative and easy for children to remember. So mm -hmm. I wonder if that's the main reason behind their etymology. But enough with old school generation. What about Gen 8 Pokemon? Corviknight is as awesome as it is scary. Here on the screen, you can see how Corviknight is called in Japanese which is pronounced as, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Amaga, and literally means armor. Right. In English, Corvi comes from Corvus, a big variety of crow and knight, which makes complete sense since this fearful crow Pokemon possesses steel body feathers and a steel peck, which make up its armor. In German, it's called Krarma. The Kr, K-R, stands for Pro it. I'm it's tooth mirror light. I'm not a German speaker. Please, please, please correct us on this. Somebody comment and tell us how to pronounce these correctly next time. A small sized body crow variety. And well, the armor part of it is obvious. As many of you may know, there are more than 800 Pokemon now. Wow. We could go on for days with these names. But I think you got the idea. There's a lot of transcreation going on behind these adorable creatures. Absolutely. So thank you so much for joining us today. Add a comment about what other Pokemon names are unique in your languages so we can keep up the conversation about this iconic franchise. And see you next time on another Open World Lock Fact. Bye. See you next time. Gotta catch them all.